What's up, guys? Michael here. In last video, we were talking about the comparison function in SWOT Viewer. With that function, you can compare the results from different SWOT versions. That version can be a standard SWOT version from the SWOT website, also can be a modified version from your own research. It's a powerful tool to help you test your own modified version. In that video, we didn't cover how you can add your modified version into the viewer. Uh, we will cover that in this video. Basically, there are three steps if you want to uh, use your modified version in the viewer. First step, it will be the model changes. Basically, in this step, we, you, you, you will need to uh, use the JIT merge function to merge your changes and uh, uh, the changes will have been done in the viewer version and merge them together to be a single version. After you have merged the changes, so you can use any of the Fortran compiler uh, like the Intel Fortran uh, Composer and the JFortran to generate the ESE files. After you generate the ESE files, you can just go to the SWOT viewer installation file. There is a SWOT uh, EXES folder. You can just copy your ESE file into that folder. So the viewer will automatically load your ESE file into the program. Uh, we will talk about more about the modern changes, so that's how things work. Uh, basically, you need to know the JIT merge command. In this pro 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 uh, process, you you need to uh, know the concept concept of branch uh, in the JIT. If you don't know that, I will leave a, a description below uh, a talk uh, a link to talk about the, this function uh, in more detail. So, for example, you have your own modified version in the green circle here. Um, this version may be based on some standard SWOT version. Let's say it's SWOT 64 version. And so you create a branch um, to create your own modified version. At the same time, we have a viewer version, uh, also based on the same so, uh, standard SWOT version. This is another branch, so we call it viewer version branch. Basically, we have what we have done in this branch is that we change the output format. As you may know, the standard SWOT will output all the results in different output files, in text files. But here in the viewer version, we create we output all the results into a single data. So that's the only change we have been made. What you want to do is you want to use the the JIT merge function to merge the changes in the work uh, the viewer version into your own modified version. So after you merge this change, you will have the merged version. So in this merged version, you will have both the changes from your own modified version and from the Version. So that's the version you will want to use to generate the uh, .exe file. In the process, you may find that you will have some conflicts. Conflict means uh, you have been uh, made a change to same uh, calls in the both uh, modified version and viewer versions. So you want to decide which one to keep and which one to remove. So basically, you want to uh, tell this JIT merge command, so um, what's the correct one to, like, to leave there. And the second one is you want to give a name of the output uh, database in the viewer version. So basically this uh, name will be very important for the viewer to know uh, when they uh, use different uh, model version to run the program. Uh, you need to tell the viewer, oh, I, if I use this uh, merged version, I will generate this uh, database with this name. Um, my suggestion is you don't want to use um, uh, the same name as other versions. You want to use um, some uh, new 
unique name for your database. The build version is not available in GitHub right now. Uh, if you want to uh, make your modified version work together with the SWOT viewer, please feel free to contact me or leave in the comments below. I will be more than happy to help you go through that process. Uh, so in this video, we covered the topic about how you can uh, make your own modified version to work together uh, with the SWOT viewer. If you liked the video, please uh, make sure to give a thumb up uh, below. And this channel is called SWOT Output Viewer. We will post the videos uh, talking about the, the SWOT Output Viewer, the software, and the SWOT models, and the general hydrological models. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in next one. Thank you.